Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're going to be finding out what Mr. Black and Mr. White really do inside of their cabin once you complete the mission strand, the ties that bind us. You guys also might recognize this couple as the escaped prisoners that won't stop yelling at each other outside of roads. It's a really funny side mission. And if you know anything about the ending, which it's not really a spoiler at this point, they basically get inside of this like cabin that is inaccessible to us as the player because there's no ladder that you can get up there. And so when we explore this mission on the console, I was always curious you know, what they did when they got on the inside. Like, did they go to sleep? Did they eat food? Like, what'd they do? And the only way we can find out now is on the PC, and that's what we're going to try. So it all begins by actually talking to these guys and starting the entire mission strand, which again, takes place outside of Rhodes. Obviously, you have to be in chapter two, but I don't think you have to be in chapter three or four. And again, it's one of the funniest missions in the game. Let's lead us up to the finale. You're leaving me, huh? So. Yeah, we'll leave this then. What you fools up to? It's Mr. Black's fault. His fault to Darky White. Although I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean off you. Come All on. Right. And I'll tell right. you, you lily livid. Enough. Huh. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay, even for a darky. Shut up, you pasty face streak of piss. Yeah, I had up to here with you. Enough. Do your goddamn favor what you want. Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat. Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut up! These posters, where are they exactly? They got them all over town. Check the train station, wherever they'd likely to advertise rewards. Now, tell me again, where are the wanted posters? We saw some on the main street and hightailed it out of there. I think they got one in the station, too. I mean, yeah. Hey, I need to get to that poster behind you. Would you move a little? <laughs> I will not. Deputy put up plenty. Go get one of those. Please, mister. I'll just reach by. It won't take but a second. I'm leaning on it. Find one that ain't in use. Hey, move. I need that poster. Oh, I'll move, all right. How's this for moving? Wait, you ain't... At least hit me proper. A feather... Oof. You ain't the... Uh. 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 time. They ain't as bad as you made out there. Bad. They yeah, worse than worse. You always was one for gossip. Jethro Minglethorpe. Gossip, gossip, gossip. But as usual, you're spreading lies. Lies? Every fool knows the charges were trumped up. But the darkie killed a white man. Jimmy Holdacre had a weak heart. He died of a heart attack. Nonsense. Uh, and howdy. Samson Black was set up. Everyone knows Judge Amory took a bribe. What is wrong with this? You don't believe that, do you? Sure. And you call me a gossip? Hey, friend. Hello. I was in town. Pretty hot. There's quite a price on you boys. It is so unfair. I, I didn't do nothing. Well, they said you was wanted for murder. It wasn't murder. It was self-defense. And you killed a farmer? Well, firstly, I would have, but he died before I could. And secondly, well, he had it coming. He... I don't like to say. Well... Well, what? Don't just leave it there. You got him or what? 
We've come to rely on you, mister. I don't know what they told you in town. We've been straight with you. We ain't angels, but... We're good folks, or I am. Not now, Black. Okay, we're both good folks. So, do you got the posters? We just want those posters gone. Ain't no business of mine. Here's the posters. Thanks, partner. That's that, then. That's that. Free at last. Free from you, at least. Well, not quite. No? We should wait a while first, see if anyone's on our trail. You're right. Too risky to split up now. Two sets of eyes is better than one. This ain't permanent, though. It's a temporary <laughs> measure. Well, right, right, till things blow over. Then I'm done with you, Black. I'm counting the hours, White. Lord. Hey, mister. Oh, hey, friend. You boys don't look so fresh. We ain't. I think we're dying, friend. We ate some bad mushrooms. Bad business, sure. It's been real tough, partner. So it seems. I hate to ask, but we need some medicine. Kind of fast. Medicine? Yeah, look at us. Look at me. And he's worse than he looks. Uh oh. And he looks like shit. He ain't gonna last three days. And me, I ain't well. Not at all. Not at all. Uh, I'm. I'm begging you, partner. Oh. Uh. Uh. Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh, why? I told you it'd help us. I told you. I told you, did I? You did. You told me. You told me a lot of things. We're gonna be all right, buddy. Are we? Well, physically. Drink this. I'll give it to Black first. No, no, no. I'll give it to White. No, He's... no. Drink hey. this and shut Take it. up. Thank you. Oh, uh, oh that's good stuff. Uh, but listen, uh, I reckon you boys should get on out of here. Maybe uh, split up. Uh, Head up north or overseas. Uh, they don't like uh, groups of men. Uh, I know. I hear you, boss. It's time. Oh, once we're better. Oh, yeah, well, I agree. I mean, I, I, I can't wait to be rid of you. Embarrassing. Embarrassing? Yeah, you're an embarrassment. Well, uh, be embarrassed no more. Uh, Get back to where folks like you, and I'll go where they like me. Uh, oh, I shall. Well, shut up, will you? <laughs> With pleasure. Just gotta sleep it off like this big lump. Okay, so we helped them escape Rhodes by burning the wanted posters. We got them medicine. And then one day later, you'll actually find them towards the very top northern part of the map in West Elizabeth, like north of Strawberry. And you'll actually see them sitting on their little new house. And uh, when you come up to them, this is the final cutscene that will occur. This is just hell of a trip. Hey, you all right, mister? Can we, uh, can we help you? I'm fine. Oh, I know you two. Hey, hey look who it is. Oh. <laughs> I barely recognized you boys on account of you not trying to kill each other. Yeah, well, somebody learned his manners, finally. So you boys didn't run away. Now, nobody looking out here. I reckon we're, we're okay. Mm, all right. But the law's pretty, well, it's pretty vigorous these days. I told you we should leave, but did you want to listen? Oh, no. Mr. High and Mighty, he don't listen to no oh, one. Oh, would you just shut up? I will not. Uh, I will not shut up. You know what? You'll shut up when I shut you up. Oh, that's real funny. I cannot believe it. I'm stuck out here with only you to talk to. I get a better conversation from the goddamn trees. I know. I've seen you talking to them. They should have hanged you for being a moron. You're an unkind man, Mr. Black. <laughs> oh, let me in. Let, let me in. Open the door. Come on, let me in. I'll kill you myself. Go away. Let me in. I, uh, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. 
Now let me in. Go away. I'm so, I'm I'm I'll make dinner again. All right, I'm I'm sorry. Say you're sorry again. I'm real sorry. Someone's there. Someone? Who? Act normal, will you? We we'll wait for him to pass. What'd you think? I think they're still there. Be quiet. So we did it. We were successfully able to get inside of the house, and this is not what I was expecting. Well, I guess I should say that now that we've had the PC version for a couple of weeks, this is totally what I expected. It seems that because Rockstar never intended anyone to actually get inside of their little stilt house, that they don't actually do anything. You know, once Mr. White opens the door for Mr. Black, they don't actually do anything. They just sort of stand there. And you can actually like bump into them and that'll trigger more conversations. You can't lasso them, which I thought was, would have been a cool thing to actually do. You can kill them if you want, which I think is a little bit strange, but I guess because they have zero impact on the rest of the story, Rockstar actually allows it to happen. And I think they just have random loot. They don't have anything specific like a letter or anything like that. So these two guys have a really weird relationship. Bottom line, I can't tell if they're like in love with each other, if they want to like rip their heads off, or if it's a little bit of both. It's definitely a strange situation as far as uh, what's going on here. Many people believe that Mr. White and Mr. Black's predicament is similar to what happened in the 1958 film The Defiant Ones, which also features two escapees chained together, uh, one black, one white, and they actually hate each other, but they have to learn to like each other in order to survive. So I think that's Rockstar's uh, influence as far as how they ended up getting to this mission. And what's interesting is you can actually change their future altogether. If you decide to actually not turn in the wanted posters, but turn them into the sheriff, like obviously the rest of the missions won't happen. So I thought this was a really fun outcome. And obviously we now know what happens inside of the cabin that uh, these guys end up sharing at the end of the game. Uh, I wish there was something a little bit more dramatic there, but as we've been starting to see with Rockstar, they try to do the most minimal amount of animation as possible. And if something's behind closed doors where we can't see it, they probably didn't animate it or have the characters, NPCs, or individuals doing anything all that interesting. But anyways, that's all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below, or better yet, reach out to me on my Facebook page. If you guys have any other experiments, mysteries, or secrets you'd like me to check out now that the game is available on PC, you can let me know down there. You can also send photos, videos, and more. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the latest Red Dead Redemption and GTA videos that I'm doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.